friends welcome to Aisha's DIY today we will design a earring and this is a very pretty earrings let me show you guys how to make this and I made this in a different color combination I use super duo beads and this is a hoop earrings and this um, video is a collaboration video with bbcraft.com bbcraft sent me some products uh, which I'm going to make um, jewelry out of it and then tutorial out of that and then review the product this is the project product I'm talking about so we received several hoops here like um, five different size of hoops in a box and I really wanted this and I used a uh, one hoop to make this earrings then the one that I used is this size I think it is one two three fourth size there is five six and seven totally no six sizes right but I want to go a little bit smaller than this so I'm going to choose this uh, uh, hoop for this earring um, because I feel that this is more than enough for this pattern right this will perfectly fit the curve is what I'm thinking so I'm going to use that one right there I used a bigger one you can use anything you want you can increase the number of uh, beads on the first row that way you taper it down and do it for a bigger hoop whichever way you feel um, will suit your needs you can do that this came in a box like this perfect to store and so I don't have to look about anything and everything to store these zip locks and i like to do it in zip locks uh, even though it's stainless steel it's nice and secure and then i close this box right here and then keep so i'm going to use a uh, super duo beads and i'm going to use this mix with mix it's a little bit hard i actually used a mix for this as well but it's more metallic tones it doesn't show that much um but the thing is I would like to uh, use this mix I really like this color I want to try so I'm just going to dump uh, quite a lot of super duos we don't need that much and then after super duos we need some lavano seed beads you can use a stopper bead if you want to these are lavano seed beads and these are Toho and this is from artbeats.com I believe and this one is a gold line frosted aqua that's the one I'm using and then for 50 nose I'm using this metallic color uh, I'm not going to use a lot of 50 nose I don't mind the color and then we are also going to use some 80 seed beads I'm using this 80 Toho um and this is silver lined uh eight of seed beads i'm going to use that and then i'm going to get everything ready my 50 nose i really don't need this much just a few is good enough um so these are the materials and I'm using a two needle technique so I'm using a 12 and a 10 you can use 12 or 11 don't use 10 but I just want to start with the 10 that's that's actually this is also 12 I don't think so I have it I have taken the 10 out this is 12 size 12 beading needle and you can also use 11 and I'm using 0 0.006 inch wildfire in this uh, green color or verde color whatever you can call and then you will have to cut about a wingspan of thread a wingspan of thread is from uh, from your uh, middle from your uh, throat all the way to your arm extended until your fingers that is a wingspan so you take a wingspan of thread um, take one of the thread and take your needle nose or tweezer nose pliers 
and flatten this end. It's important that you flatten this end so it's easy for us to thread it. And then thread the needle to the uh, thread rather than the thread to the needle. That's an easy way. Now we got that in here and then pull that through. Sometimes it's a little bit tough to go through, but that's okay. Just get it through it. There we go. We don't need a lot of tail. So that's one end. Take the other end, do the same. So take it and flatten it with your needle nose or tweezer nose pliers and then take your needle this one is pretty bent but still I can use that let me do this off camera and come back so I did thread the needle and here is my two needles and here is the end I have this much thread now so what I'm gonna do is take the hoop we need ear wires as well and this hoops. The link for this product which is featuring this video from bbcraft.com I will leave down the description box below. You can check it out. bbcraft.com has a YouTube program wherein if you have 100 subscribers or more for your YouTube channel you can participate in their YouTube program which is like they will send you $40 worth of merchandise you can choose some merchandise on their website and they'll send it to you for free and then you can unbox it and then do projects with it and promote bbcraft.com that way so take advantage of that i will leave down the description box below the link for that as well so now here uh, is our 15 nodes first of all you take this hoop this hoop has two sides one side is crimped as you can see there is a small dent over there that side is sealed so you just gently remove the other side and then keep it as a jump ring don't distort the shape keep it as a jump ring and then take it I would like to take it in the front this is the front side and the the one that is looped is the back so this is the front side what I want to do is take an 8-0 and thread an 8-0 through this um, wire so it will go very nicely if you want you can take your ato and put it that through that that way then decide on your um, super duos I am thinking of um, doing a mix right so I will separate these I have three four um two mats two transparent i think that's about it so what i'm going to do is i will use this color because i really like this so i'll start with this okay put your um super duos inside followed uh, by 11 or CB first an 8 o a super 2 o and 11 o and then again another super 2 o this is going to be separated by 11 o's only 8 o that we add is at the end okay you can also switch that to 11 o's if you want to add 11 o then a super 2 o when you add your super 2 o make sure both the holes are open otherwise you will have a problem doing 
means you will you won't be able to go back that's a big mess i did that with a couple of uh, two whole projects it's a mess actually especially when i'm doing with um a salon cord it's very hard at least fire line is forgivable so i can take it off and do it again or something so just want to create an interest with this mix but you can go with one solid color it's absolutely up to you the choice is yours then i finish off with the screen because i like the transparent one and then finally an a to c bead right then you can actually take this thing and close it off we don't need this hoop to be open anymore um, all we are going to do is uh, using our needle and thread to weave in the rest of the beads so and i repeat a toe followed by a uh, super duo leveno super duo leveno super duo leveno super duo leveno super duo and eight okay so that's done first now what i'm going to do is i'm going to separate my um mix and keep which i want to go next because the order so the next will be so we added five super duos in the first row the second row will be four three two one okay i want the tip to be this probably or this right i don't know so this so you need to see okay i start with a gray and this color right and then a green a blue probably right and then a gray this metallic color and green and then this color and a blue maybe and finally a green so this is the color i want to choose it's totally up to you how you design and you can also do one color it'll look really pretty as well so what i'm going to do here is pick up my needles i pick up one lemon or seed bead okay and then i go through the super duo but the second hole the bottom hole okay i'm going to uh, fix this in the middle of my thread so i hold it there this is the middle of my thread pick up a super duo go back through the next super duo the second hole the bottom hole and come out i still make sure that my needle is my thread is in the middle right maybe i need an anchor right it's okay just make sure it's in the center then what we do is pick up the next super duo and go through the second hole of the next super duo it's all um, not proper right now but once you have a couple of rows it will be good that is then and then take the next super duo 
and go through the next one in the line pick up the next super duo and go through the last one at this point of time I make sure my needle is in the middle yes now what you do is pick up 11 -0. 1 11 -0. go through the um, super duo that you just went through skipping the 11 -0. Add 11 and go through all of them. The line just you came out, you are going to go through everything. Pull that tight, go back through all of these, and stay right there. Park the needle and take the other needle. You have a leveno hanging out in the loose. Okay, skip that leveno and then go through all of these beads again once more and come back to the left side. So we are going zigzag pattern or crisscrossing with all these beads. So if you are not able to go through a couple of them at a time how much ever you can go through just go through and then you can pull it off right then come back through this my thread is exiting out of 11 o and not uh, sorry uh, super duo and not 11 o as you can see this is what I have here so far I hope that's clear uh, never mind I will do once again with the other earring so now I want to pick up an 8 and 11 and come back through the super duo second hole in the second row mm -hmm. that will be this now I want to pick up a 15 and a super duo. Okay, go back through the next super duo and pull through. Now, so since the thing is a little bit big, I'm going to add a 15 and a super duo. Go through then actually do one more 15 and go through the next sub door. There we go. Okay, this is what I have. Then pick up a sub door and a 15. -oh. Go through the next one, sub door. And then that's row number three. Park your needle. Take the other needle. The thread is exiting out of the super duo second hole in the first row. Now pick up a NATO and a Leveno and go through the second row super duo second hole and pass through all the ones that we added right now. If you are not able to pass through everything at a time, that's totally not a problem. Just go through as much as you can. And then you can go through again once you come out. But I want you to pass through everything here. Not the level. No. Just the super two. Okay. The 15 and the super two. Now this is what we have so far. Okay, so now park. Um, you can pick up uh, eight o and then eleven o. Okay, go through the second hole of the third row in the super row. Then pick up a fifteen o. 
and level no and a 50 no okay go through the next 50 no in the line this is what we have so far then do the same pick up a 50 no a super duo a 50 no go through the next 50 no in the line sorry next is super duo bottom hole okay this is what we will have so far now what I want to do is park my needle there you might actually okay here I have this thread coming out of the second row right now pick up a NATO sorry yeah pick up an 8 and 11 0 and then come back through the bottom hole that you just added all the beads through and come back out of a super duo If you pull this everything will fall into place now what I want to do is pick up an 8 0 and 11 0 come back through the uh, super duo second hole of the last row pick up a 11 0 actually you can do 11 0s here pick up a 11 0 a super duo and 11 0 and go back through the next super duo why added 11 0 in spite of the super uh, 15 0s is there is a large gap and then you want to fill the gap right so that's why okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to park the needle here pick up the other one and this thread is coming out of the third row one two three third row so pick up an 8 0 and 11 0 and go through this last row that you added now my thread is exiting out of the super divorce here so pick up the same 8 0 and 11 0 and go through the last bead just like so actually pick up an 8 0 11 0 and a 15 0 and then go through this there we go now I want to park this needle take that pick up an 8 0 11 0 and a 15 0 and then go through this last super duo bead this is what we have so far park the needle here pick up the other one and then at the end I want to create a pico you can create a pico with whichever bead you want but I want to do it with the 50 nose so I'm picking up three 50 nose right 
and I'm coming back through this hole on the left side and I'm going from the right side back through the same hole and pulling it off. Something is a little bit off, yes. Okay. My thread caught under that uh, other thread that's the reason so it's coming out of the right side so I go back from the left side and come back through a circle just not going through any other beads just the second hole of the super duo and pull this tight as well pull this tight and this tight see how that is so this is how my earring is gonna look so now what I'm going to do is I have finished constructing the entire structure. All I need to do now is to reinforce and tighten this work up. So my thread is exiting out of the super duo. So I'm just going to go to the next uh, 15 OC bead and I'm going to go through all of the beads on the side just like so. If you want you can go do that but I would like to reinforce in another way which is going through these three beads which is the 15 o, the 11 o, and the 8 o. okay and pull this thread that way you will tighten everything up then go through this line of beads now You can twist it up or down and figure out a way to go through all the beads one more time for added security. See how loose it is. So I just want to make this tight. So go through the next set. I am just going zigzag manner. Here there is 15 O's. So watch out for that. There we go. Bend your work, turn it upside down, then you will be able to access everything. So come back up and then go through this A toe. and then go back through all of these you can also do this with one needle that's totally up to you but two needles seems to be easy for me Go up through these. By now, your work should be stiff a bit, not very loose and nice. Don't worry about this moving uh, like this freely. That's what exactly what we want. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back through this first row that we added with thread a needle and these are just super duos coming out of the lemon and now I'm going to do a um, half inch knot here under the lemon and 
actually not go through the lamina come out of the lamina and then do a half inch knot between the thread bridge underneath see this how I created a loop go through the loop with your needle make sure your knot lands between beads and not into go through the next two beads and then do a half inch knot under by catching the thread underneath just like so sorry pump the camera just catching the thread underneath and making a loop and making sure your knot lands between the beads and then go through the next bead so I did two knots I'm ready to snip off this cord while I have one cord to work with I use my thread zapper you can also use a sharp scissors to do that there we go and now I have only one needle to work with and my work seems to be stiff but I need to secure these so take your cord which is coming out of this super duo go through the next couple of beads you can do a half inch knot right there catch the thread bridge underneath make a loop put your needle through the rope and then bring this together and then do it now go through this the super duo the lemono the super duo across I'm just trying to make my way through there we go and then go through the 8 catch the thread bridge underneath make a loop and go through the loop with your needle tighten that up and then go back through this so now your thing is actually secure all you need to go through is couple of beads and snip it off I'm ready to cut off the thread using my thread zap that's it one of the earring is done all you need to do is take your ear wire open it up and then Put it in the loop here you're done one more thing I want to tell you guys is to secure this or crimp this end with the help of wire cutters I know it's, it sounds funny but I do that I just make it bent right there can you see that now it's secure so that way this is crimped and it will not move and this is your earrings it's pretty it's a mix but if you do a single color it will look a li little bit different from what it is now here so I am going to do the same for this and as you can see we have a small thread means thread which we cannot work with I am going to again a wingspan of thread it's better to take more thread than less and this is how it looks it looks very pretty to me I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna show you guys a little bit closer this time so I added the first row directly to the loop as you guys can see that I'll show this um, one more time in a close-up so I pick up one 11 seed bead okay 
I have arranged this um, thing. In the order that I have it in the other earring, as you can see, pick up a lavano seed bead, go through the second hole in the first row of the first super duo, and then I want this to be exactly the middle, as I said that already. So pick up the first super duo and go through the next super duo in the first row, the second hole. I just yeah there we go okay now I straighten this up and this is almost the middle right Pick up the next super duo, go through the next super duo, the second row. Then do the same, go through the next one, pick up another super duo, and go through the last one. It's all wobbly right now, but you can see how it is right now okay so now I pick up 11 o go through the same hole that I passed through right now by adding all of those beads so go through because I did skip the 11 o it will the thread will not you know come off so if you're not able to go through all the super doers go through a couple of them once and then Go through the next set. There we go. So that's secure now. Park the needle there. This lemono that we added is hanging around. Just drop down next to your work. Skip that lemono. Go through all the beads and come back to the other side. So that you are ready to add the next row. Okay. So now. Pick up. An 8 o 11 o And go through the second hole in the second row. Which is right here. Pick up 11 o go through, let me see, the third row, I have added a 15 o so here we go, pick up a 15 o pick up a super duo and go through the next super duo in the line. Now, Pick up a 15 o a super duo, and a 15 o and go through the next super duo. Just one. Then a super duo and a 15 o go through the next. You can park your needle, pick up the other needle, and then pick up a 8 o and 11 o And my thread is exiting out of this super duo right here, not the 11 o the super duo. So I'm going to go back through this. The ones that we added right now. Go through all of those beads.
always come out of a super duo and not any other thing that way you will be ready to add the next row pick up an 8 or 11 o and go through this right here okay now what you need to pick up is a 15 o and the super two one fifteen o one super two o and one fifteen o and go through the next hole pick up another fifteen o super two o fifteen o then go through the next hole just like that park the needle here take the other needle pick up an eight o eleven o and come back through the ones that we added right now we are going to go back through all the beads that we added right here and just the super duo and not the 11 o or anything on the side park it you don't have to park it actually you can start the next row pick up 11 o and uh, sorry an 8 o and 11 o and go through the bottom hole of the super duo now pick up a 11 o a super 2 and 11 o so the last row we are adding 11 o's going to go through the next super 2 on the line there we go now you can pick up a NATO 11 o and come back through the bottom hole here and park it pick up an 8 o 11 o and come back through this go through this entire thing not the lemono but the super to bottom hole and then pick up an into a lemono and come back through this pick up three um, 15 o's And come back through the super two, just making a peak, just like that, right? Now, what you can do is go back through these two lemonos and the eight o's, and then go back through this row. I mean, I'm zigzagging up and then finishing it up when it gets tightened I'm going to do the half inch knots and finish it up so there is a slight difference between this one project and this project in this project as you can see I didn't add anything any beads in between which I think is a different look and this is a different look as well as you can see here right so because i added the beads in between it is a little bit more scattered plus the circle is also small here it is big so that's why that created a gap and so i had to add all of those i can see how different it is the only place i'm adding 15 o's is actually i add 11 o's is here uh, in the third row and the final one that's it the rest is not uh, it's just super toes and only on the sides and then i connected the sides like this rather than going through zigzag i connected it like that that is the only difference i did between these two earrings you can do it either way whichever way you feel comfortable with and whichever you ho uh, hope you have available i'll finish this up I'll and finish this earrings off as you can see it looks very pretty i really like 
the way it turned out to be and this pair is also really nice i hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification i do upload videos almost every day except for sunday thanks so much for watching and don't forget to check out bb craft for the links for this um hoops that come in a set like this thanks bye bye